I'm installing a specialty outlet in my kids' room, and it has two USB charging ports for mobile devices. And this outlet only has one screw terminal for the hot and the neutral. And I know that the outlet here has two screw terminals, and it also has hot wires coming into it and going out to another box. So I'm going to show a method of how to create a pigtail to connect it. To so whenever you're working on a circuit, always turn the electricity off to it. And I always like to check both sides. Uh, and in some cases, especially in kitchens, you'll find that in some situations they'll have one circuit running to one side and another circuit running to another side. So let's make sure we turn the electricity off and then we're just going to remove the old receptacle. And in this case you can see they have two wires run to the hot side and two wires run to the neutral side. And with our new specialty outlet we only have two screw terminals so we're going to create a pigtail to make a safe connection to both. So I'm just going to unscrew these from both sides first. Now that all four wires are disconnected from the old outlet, I'm just going to use a needle nose pliers and I'm going to straighten out all the wires and I want to have them kind of uniform in length from the insulation. So I'm going to use the cutter here on the needle nose pliers and I'm going to cut them all to about three quarters of an inch. Now I'm going to create a pigtail with a piece of black wire for the hot side and a piece of white wire for the neutral side. And I'm just going to take a wire stripper and I'm going to strip off the insulation about three quarters of an inch on both sides of both pieces of wire. And this is going to be our pigtail. So now I'm going to take this pigtail and I'm going to combine it with the other two hot wires. And I cut them all about three quarter inch long. And what we're going to do is combine this together with a wire nut. And I'm using a yellow one and this is designed to hold three 14 gauge wires. And if you're running a normal circuit in a house, it's generally a 15 amp circuit and they're using 14 gauge wire. So I'm going to push all three together and I'm just going to twist this down so it covers the bare wire down past the insulation and we'll snug it up like this and then I'm going to do the same with the white wires and we're going to use a wire nut on the other side and we're just going to combine them and twist them like that. Now we have our pigtails, we have our hots all combined and our neutral combined. I'm just going to put a hook on the end of it and I'm going to turn it clockwise to both and we want to wrap these clockwise around the screw terminals on the new outlet and that way it'll help tighten it down. If you were to put it on counterclockwise it can push it loose in some cases. So we'll put a little hook here and now in the USA, your black wire, your red wire is going to be going to your gold screw, your hot side. And we'll just tighten that down. And the neutral wire is going to be going on the silver screw. And again, we'll just snug that down. So if you have an outlet where you're instead of taking two wires and trying to put it onto one screw, which is dangerous, uh, creating a pigtail is very easy using a wire nut and now it's going to be a very safe connection. So now we're going to tuck these wires into the box and because here in the Chicago area we have all metal boxes and metal conduit going all the way back to the breaker box, uh, in some cases when electricians put this together it's all grounded because metal is touching all the way back. They're not using a grounding screw. But if you have a non-metal clad wire, you'll always want to connect a green ground to the green screw. So we're just going to wrap a little bit of electrical tape over this. And this is going to help protect it because we have metal boxes. If someone in the future were to uh, change this outlet and not turn off the breaker, this is just going to protect somebody in the future from touching the hot 
wire to the metal box. So we'll wrap this, we'll tuck our wires in, and we'll screw it down to the box. So here's the outlet in place, and for especially outlets like this that don't have multiple screw terminals, always use a pigtail for a very safe connection.